Hey GF, I recently watched one of your old videos on pixel counting and thought it was fascinating stuff. I was wondering how guy how you guys factoring upscaling on consoles with FSR and TSR. Are the stair steps rendered for the rendered resolution or the upscaled resolution? If so, how do you measure the output of the upscaled image? Yes, this was a video we did way back in the day where this whole process was a lot, lot simpler because, you know, upscaling wasn't really a thing. And TAA, which also causes issues, was kind of in its infancy. Mm -hmm. um, Oliver, yeah. would you care to tackle this one? Because the answer is actually it's a lot more difficult. Well, yeah. So I guess to answer the question, basically you need to measure both in some fashion. To find the internal resolution, you'll need to break the image reconstruction or TAA or whatever. You'll, you'll need to break it. So to do that, you'll whip the camera around. If there's, you know, if you can get the motion blur off, whipping the camera around will work. Or counting frames on camera cuts, which typically will not have anti-aliasing treatment in these titles. Or just look for parts of the image that rapidly change in lighting, or sometimes certain elements won't have motion blur applied to them in a game with motion blur. Things like this. Um, that's AC the internal resolution. For the output resolution, sometimes it's possible to count UI elements. Sometimes right. it's possible to count the final resolution of the image. Usually what I'll do if I can't figure it out is I will just uh, load up the PC version, capture a bunch yeah. of the game running at different resolutions, compare that to consoles and get some idea, right? Um, but I guess in general, just as a general matter, I think resolution questions are not as important nearly as they used to be. We're looking at pretty high resolutions. Uh, across games, especially internal resolutions, not too relevant. Um, I think, you know, to me, the key questions when evalu evaluating a console game are, is it acceptably sharp given the typical viewing distance people will be from their displays? And is there much visible breakup in the image uh, on geometric elements, right? Um, those mm -hmm. would be the key concerns. So yeah, basically you have to measure both. It's hard and getting harder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's just all there is to it really. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on this one, Alex? I mean, um, uh, Oliver was talking there about, you know, distance from the screen, which I think mm -hmm. is quite interesting because there's a perception in the PC space where dealing with, uh, say, DLSS that, you know, 1080p, you've got to be on DLSS quality, 1440p, DLSS balanced is okay, 4K DLSS performance mode kind of works out, you know, typically. But that's with a very different viewing distance you're kind of right in front of the screen typically with PC gaming, right? So the, the, mm. the quality threshold, I'd argue, goes up that that requires that kind of delineation of mode to resolution. Right. Yeah, it's all about how much how many pixels you see per arc second of your vision. Mm -hmm. Uh and um that is very different on PC. I you said those those preset mode names, Rich, for for the various things but most people uh, not most people but i read often online people are like i only use quality mode um <laughs> if i ever if i even do it i can't i can't even deal with quality mode <laughs> I, I also read fake it's fake frames uh i also read that so i mean it is it's all subjective to a degree which is why you have to explain the subjective element and the video like when i do point out any sort of image quality aspect i'm trying to say that this is persisting over multiple frames for a large part of a frame so you notice it i there's no reason to look at the at the minutiae if it doesn't have a macro effect um mm -hmm. in regards to the the what oliver said it's all those things i would try and do myself and the one thing that's really hard i think about this is that if you're trying to get the end pixel count of whatever the game's output value is which it's not easy to get like because if you think about it these upscalers are accumulating anti-aliasing yes. up to the output resolution so you're seeing anti-aliased frames and seeing the real pixels of that anti-aliased frames you're not going to see ones anyway that are that are raw usually that, that wouldn't make sense it's very hard and you also have the issue where in games especially console games where you can have post-processing done at a very different resolution than the internal resolution and that you'll be getting like a 540p count or a 480p count and you're like this must be the motion blur resolution or something so you're counting something else entirely yeah it's hard or the the transparency resolution is often very low yeah. in games it's quite interesting to go back to the original video where tom basically did an explainer for how we did it mm -hmm. and 
it was I thought you know back in the day that this was a really interesting example in transparency and the data you know the information the it technique works. was there on like the beyond 3d forums back mm -hmm. in the day mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah uh, so it was nice to be able to show our working so to speak but it is 10 times more difficult these days simply to find an untreated edge edge that would give you uh, some idea of the resolution and then as you say Alex you know there can be all manner of factors added in that would also influence the output resolution of, of right. that particular edge and i almost feel in a way that you know by producing that kind of video which explains in a sort of blow by blow manner how to do pixel counting that it's it's kind of like incomplete now and it, it actually leads to a lot of erroneous pixel counts from from various people would would um, you love to do an update where we talk about how hard it is now <laughs> I mean, that would be a fun video almost. We, we could take like false positives. Oh, yeah. How and say, like, that why this really isn't great. That would be really interesting. Yeah, maybe we should do it because, um, you know, it's turned into, I wouldn't say it's a, an art form. It's just turned into a pain in the ass, basically. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> yeah. And there is, you know, the, on, a, on a sort of uh, more holistic level, you're quite right, Alex, with the, with the inclusion of accumulation of anti-aliased images, you know, it's, you know, when you say something is 1440p, you know, it's it's actually really difficult to apply any kind of rational meaning to that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a number. It's a number. It's a number. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we've tried a lot of things. We've looked into like clarity uh, sort of metrics. Uh, a lot of clever people have helped us out to try and yeah. overcome the pixel counting uh, thing. And we and it is the case that it's got to be a subjective analysis at the end of the day based mm -hmm. on what you think and how the artifacts manifest themselves um, because you know programmatically assessing image quality just isn't working for us and as i said we've had some very clever people helping us on that yeah.